I think Donald Trump is an immediate and present danger to the security of this country. So we are on the set of Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. You know what, I caught you tweeting in between uh, when the other sharks were talking. Yeah. You were tweeting and I went back and looked. Don't look, don't tell. And I saw you were tweeting about politics. What is it about you and this political season that's got you so fired up? Because I think our future is at stake. I have three young kids and I couldn't look them in the eye um, and feel good about their future if I did insert myself and try to stop Donald Trump from being elected. Okay, you are very vocal on Twitter, a huge critic of Donald Trump, especially most recently you're challenging Trump to a uh, four-hour interview. In a series of tweets you said this, you said, uh, $10 million to the charity of your choice if you let me interview you for four hours on your policies and their substance. And then you sweeten the deal. You'll write him a check if he needs it instead of going to charity in case he needs the money. Right. What's his response? None. I wanted to make a point that I don't think he understands his policies. I don't think he understands or knows the details that, were, that go behind them from whoever is giving him his policies. Um, and I think that's a problem. I would just take his website, repeat it to him, and have him explain it and see if he can. One of the reasons I made this offer to Trump is because we have, because the way media works is you have a schedule, right? You have, you have all these questions you need to get in. You have all these topics you want to cover. You have X amount of time for a segment. So you have to deal with things in a certain way. And that prevents the real questions from being asked. If I go on a show and do a talk show interview, if I wanted to deflect, it's easy to deflect for five minutes. You just talk about everything else and all of a sudden so the So you would have over. control over this interview? And Not so much control. It'd be let's sit down and talk without time limits. And one of the things I love more than anything about Shark Tank, it sends the, the message that the American dream is alive and well. So when Donald Trump talks about this is wrong with the company, country, that's wrong with the country, we can't do this, we can't do that. Right? We are a nation at our heart. There's an entrepreneurial spirit in it. We don't have to start businesses. It may be serving others and helping others and, and starting or developing or um, working at charities. We have that spirit to accomplish things. Shark Tank just reinforces that every single week. To be able to be part of that is special. So you support Hillary Clinton, clearly. Mm -hmm. but she has a huge trust issue with the public. Uh, you know, what we're seeing now with this election, it's all about the mood. And the mood is people want to see change. They don't want to see the same politician. Yeah, the trust issue really, in a lot of respects, it comes down to marketing. Donald does a good job of marketing himself, and, and that's what he's always done that. Hillary Clinton doesn't. She's not a good marketer. She's kind of boring. She doesn't come across as being charismatic, but that's okay. I'd rather have somebody who understands the issues, understands what's involved to accomplish the goals of this country, and I'll trade off charisma and be, like she, and she admits she's not a, a politician at heart. The question then is, do you plan on ever throwing your no, hat into the ring to run for president? No, it's not even worth talking about it. Why isn't it worth talking about? The reason I'm having this conversation, the reason I've gotten involved is because I think Donald Trump is an immediate and present danger to the security of this country. His inability to control the things he says, his inability to understand the impact of what he says, his inability to have situational awarenesses creates risk for my country and for my kids, for my family, for everybody I know. When the President of the United States speaks, every word matters. If there's a misperception of those words, something he just blurted out, that can have serious economic and security consequences. That we're not on an island just where everybody can say whatever they want. As a candidate, great, but he has yet to demonstrate that he can keep his mouth shut at the right time. That scares the shit out of me.